Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Matt here, coming at you with another booster pack opening. We have the Reshazard box. I uh, went out and purchased a couple of these. We got two of them. They actually look really nice. I'm happy that they actually did a box like this. It's super cool that they decided to do this because they knew it was the hot card out right now with the unbroken bonds and everything. So picked up two of these. Um, definitely a sweet, sweet box. So what we're gonna do is gonna jump right into it. How everybody's having a wonderful day out there. I'm just gonna adjust the camera real quick. I'm gonna bust these open. I really like these boxes, they're pretty cool. Um, especially because it has the new packs in it. It's got the Unified Minds and it's got Unbroken Bonds and then the Roaring Skies. I mean, the Roaring Skies or whatever, but we have the newest packs in here. Let me pull these cards out for you real quick. Pokemon finally figured out how to take out the, the cards. See, so now we don't have to worry about it. Look at, here we go, look at the new one. Very nice. Charizard in the background. Super dope. I'm go ahead and sleeve that up with the Reshazard ones from the Unbroken Bonds trainer box. It's only fitting, right? That we have to do that. You can't have it in any other one. Totally sweet. Then we have the big guy. Wow, I can't even fit it on my screen all the way. Very cool. Then we have two Unified Minds Booster Packs, an Unbroken Bonds Booster Pack, and a Roaring Skies Booster Pack. Here's the code card for you. Go ahead and take that. And then we have a statue, a little figurine. This one's super dope. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the other one too. Might as well. Here's the other card. These actually were the two of the better centered cut ones. Um, there was two more boxes there with the bo the Reshazard cards that weren't really uh, up to par. So, I mean, I probably should have got them anyways because of the card that it is. But I figured ones with a better cut, at least, were worth it. Two more Unified Minds. One more, one more Unbroken Bonds and one more Roaring Skies. Another code card for you. Second figurine. Put these right back here. All right, dope. Let's get right into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the Roaring Skies. Since this is the, the least favorite of the three packs that are in here. Okay, see what code. So we have white and green. Two, three, three, I think in this. Three and then two. So we don't do any of the uncommon cards on the white. We just do the, or the common cards. We do the uncommon and the rares. So we have a Revive, Pelipper, Fero, Electric, which is just an uncommon, and Skarmory non-holographic rare. Wouldn't expect really too much out of this one. I mean, you never know. It's just something that I think they probably just threw in here because of Roaring Skies, and it's a Charizard and Reshiram. They're both flying type type ones, so it's... It kind of seems like it makes sense to me, but otherwise, I'm not really a fan of those packs. So three, four, five. Unpheasant, Winona, we have an Executor, Togekiss Reverse, which is a rare, and a Zapdos, non-holographic rare. Togekiss card is actually pretty nice. I haven't pulled that one before, it just looks cool. Looks like a full arch, but I don't think it is because it's a reverse. Reverse full arch, maybe? If that's a thing. Solid green. So with these, we just jump straight to the reverse. Carvana, Litten, Volcanion, non -holograph uh, reverse hollow, which is very nice. And a Crabominable, non-holographic rare. So far, nothing out of that Unbroken Bonds. I mean, we aren't too 
I mean, we already know what Unbroken Bonds is, so we know it's going to be some of the harder packs. Another solid green, so of course. Coughing, the Duo, Poliwag, Murkrow Reverse, and Aromatis, non-holographic rare. So overall, the Unbroken Bonds was a bust, but you know, it's, it's not why we're here. We're here for these guys and these, the newest set, Unified Minds. Oh, crazy, I got all pack arts out of the two. That's very cool. So we'll save the Mewtwo for last, the Dark Cry. We'll start with the Deoxys and Espeon. So we have a solid green. So same thing with these. We're going to go through them a little slower because it's a newer one. Dupider, Drudagon, Cottony, Fomantis, a Sawaddle, Pitov, Reverse, Latias, non-holographic rare. It's very nice. Uh, Giant Hearth. There's a lot of trainer cards that are very playable in this one. I'm going to put this to the side to see if this possibly is one of them. First pack, so the next one we have a Garchomp and Giratina. I wouldn't mind pulling a GX of this one. This one's very nice. I would I would definitely want to... Oh, never mind. I would have loved to pull the Secret Rare of that. So, Croagonal, Cryogonal, Marini, Mar Fomantis, Riolu, a Purloin, Azelf Reverse, which is just an uncommon, and a Steelix, non-holographic rare. So far, not too much out of these two packs. Um, I'm not sure really the pull rates on these. I know the booster boxes are very well on the Unified Minds. Uh, I got a bunch of those, so those are going to be coming up soon. <clears throat> I just figured I would do this one first. Another solid green. So we're going to jump straight to it. Dupider, Dredagon, Giant Earth Reverse, and an Excadrill, non-holographic rare. Definitely would take a, um, a Cherish Ball also. That's a really nice one. I want to get the secret rare of that, of course, but even the regular one of it is very nice, too. They're very sought after. So this is the last one in the pack, in the boxes. Another solid green. So we didn't get anything out of these, really. We got just the Slandit to Denim and a Gumshoes non-holographic rare. So I have every... Oh, there's a Cherish Ball. There we go. So we got that. That's not bad. Take that. But the real reason why we came here, as everybody know, is for these two cards right here. Very nice cards. But that's it for today. It's nice and short and sweet. Hope you guys have a wonderful one. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button and subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram at mattstcg510. I'll be posting a bunch of stuff as well on there. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Peace.